All right, guys, Ash BFC here, and welcome back to Shamu. So, time to get some sleep, and then it'll be uh, its first proper day at work. Morning. My new job starts today. Like a rare can just open his eyes and he's awake. Why? For me, it's a whole. It's, oh God! Oh, ugh. Wish I could do that. I could play off past fucking four in the morning. I start at six. Yeah, so each morning is going to start for the forklift race. Ready! Be a serious Go. breach of health and safety. If you uh, watch my uh, first playthrough of this, God, how long was it? Like three years ago now? You know, these things drove me crazy. Alright, let's try to get first position. Oh, they, did I end up doing it in the end? I can't remember. Look, they fucking cheat! They ran me out of the way, you gotta be really careful. The controls are quite stiff. And if you ever so slightly touch something, you'll come to an immediate stop. And then it's basically game over. There's no real room for error if you want to become number one! This guy. Uh, I'm catching up on him. Not a particularly bad start, but. It will all go tits up. It is hard trying to get that first position. At least for me, because I think as I've probably stated many times on this channel, that both racing games and fighting games are my ultimate weakness. In the world of games. Oh, I'll probably have to say fighting games is my ultimate weakness. Anybody could beat me at a fighting game. Even someone who's probably never played a game in the entire life would still whoop me at a fighting game. <laughs> Not even kidding. But I'm also diabolical at racing games as well. Particularly like the more realistic sort of simulators. I can do kind of okay on the more arcadey ones, but still freaking suck. Out the way, number one. And your bowl haircut coming through. Hazuki takes number one. Yes. And I've only just started learning to drive this forklift. What does that say about them? That's okay! Let's rub it in. Uh, come on, let's hold this position. Let's hold this position. Also extra dangerous, it is snowing. So... Someone could easily die during this. The 80s probably didn't give a shit back then, did they? And nowadays, whoa, health and safety is just it's ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Could I actually do the unthinkable. Could I get first on the first try? And I did! <laughs> like, I'm blown away right now that I actually did that. Damn good for a rookie. Here's your first place prize. Thanks. Like myself an achievement there as well. See, you'll get a forklift based on your position. And I got number one! Race. 
I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Did I in my Welcome. original I'll playthrough? My Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quota is written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. Okay? So that's his job. Moving crates from one place to another. Oh, the excitement levels must be through the roof. So each day you'll get a little uh, map of your route. And that's how cool we can get 10 crates. I think it's a 50 yen raise. It's uh, currently 300 yen per crate, which I looked it up. As long as the uh, convert was right. It's a little over 2 quid and a little under 3 dollars. I think so. Not much really, is it? Excuse me, sir, out of the way. Okay, we'll work until 12, then we get to have a lunch break, and then we'll work until 5. There's a good chance you'll probably clear all these crates by the end of the day. There's no reason why you can't uh, meet your quarter. But it is strangely quite fun. Imagine not fun to watch. But kind of fun to do, weirdly enough. So what I'll do with these is I'll mainly just, like I did in my first playthrough, I'll just fast forward through these. That's how good I am. Absolute beast. Lunchtime, eh? Hey, my lunch! You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh! Oh, really? I don't know. Oh. Hey, quit lying! Yeah! Cut it out! What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson! Just call me a twit. It's bang out of order. Anyway, watch out for these guys. They can be a little bit tough. Quite aggressive. Block a bunch of your attacks. So, see blow that one. Oh god, fish's knees. Angels picking on you. They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen, but I don't know him. Master Chen and the Mad Angels. Hmm. Interesting. 
It's my turn, the Mud Angels arrivals. I'm sure we'll have more encounters with them in the future. But, uh. Breaks not over yet. So. Well, we're down here. Come through, pigeons. Thank you. Chinical, get to our house number eight. My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Tell me if you must. So, we should have done this. Is if you remember last time. I went to get the uh, stab armor scroll uh, translated because it's in Chinese. But we also have I can't read this Chinese. mysterious scroll also in Chinese. So I'm going to go uh, get that translated as well. Hey, oh, Goro's there, strutting around. So we've got uh, till 2 o'clock. We'll be automatically uh, sent back to work. I need to go to warehouse number eight. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please go on in. Ask you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? A scroll, and it's in Chinese. Oh, fierce tiger, thou art ruler of the forest, the bravest of character. As tranquil as the most majestic of mountains, as swift as a bolt of lightning. As violent as an earthquake jolting the great earth. Show no mercy. With twin fangs strike and rush up Moon Mountain. Striking fear in all, nary a soul challenge thee. It's a secret poetry. Secret? To maintain secrecy, the technique is written in poetry form. Only one who's received the master's verbal instruction can understand its meaning. Why did my father have it? No idea. But I'd assume if he had the scroll, then... He received instruction from the original master. My father? I'd hold on to this. Perhaps someday you will meet the master who wrote this. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Well, it's some kind of poem, but it still remains a mystery. <laughs> yeah, even all these years later, maybe Shenmue Three. Just got a quick drink while we're waiting for uh, work to resume. Not a winning can. What a surprise. Ooh. Probably getting some serious ah, brain freeze. You gotta imagine it's freezing working down at the arbor. 
This time of the year. Back to work. Was it number 18? Yes. Sims your age. Very well. Alright, so it's going to continue, and uh, before the end of the shift, there will be an event. So we shall fast forward to that. An extra point, and I may just pin your comment if you can tell me what the music's from. I said, pay up, boy, right now. You guys mad angels? Defiance ain't a good idea. You don't pay up, boy, I'm gonna kick your ass. No way. You are gonna regret that decision. Let's get him! Okay, brace yourself, this is hard. guys like super quick like I have to call three of them out one time with basically just one kick anyway let's finish off the rest of the shift I've only got two more boxes per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Yo, bro! Hats off to the hard-working man! Oh. You said you knew a lot about the harbor. Right on, my man! From the perfect mugging locale to the best spot to take a leak, this here harbor, Goro knows it all! So you know about the Mad Angels? Uh, I... speaking of taking a leak... Not so fast. Oh man! Must have had me a bad ache this morning! Gotta hit the can, my man! Oh, hope I can make it in time! Oh! So you know about them. That name! Please don't say it so loud! Why not? You get yourself fed to the fishes for talking about them, man! 
It's taboo around here! There's a rumor about some loudmouth kid who got himself concrete boots for talking! No way. Well, bro, I'm out of here. See you around. Yeah, later. Oh, man. What if Goro's Landy in disguise? Could well be. Anyway, before we go home, there is a couple of optional scenes we can do. So let's do them. So first off, if we head this way, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. Like that'll be real helpful. You couldn't even handle the Mad Angels, much less take on Landy. Shut up! Look, I don't need your help. Hey, fine by me, but it's wise to accept the goodwill of others. So, what'll it be? You are mine or not? Well, if you're so eager to teach me, okay. You could be more appreciative. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. Now you try it. So it's back and... A on Xbox or X on PlayStation. Hmm, that's fine. I see you've learned the basic form. I've got it now. You have yet to master the move. Perhaps you should practice more. Yeah, please. I'll watch, so give it a try. I think that's enough. Still want to continue? No, that's enough. Keep in mind you've only learned the basic form. To properly utilize this move, you'll need to practice. Yes. And apply diligent training. Why teach me that move? You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. Okay. So I'll have another scene as well. If we had a uh, just over here. <laughs> Been waiting for you. It's you.
What are you doing here? Wanna pay you back for helping me out. Teach you something useful. Suppose I show you rather than tell you. Let's see you try and punch me. Me? Punch you? Quit your babbling and punch. You call that a punch? That'll be the famous Hazuki style. How do you know the Hazuki style? If you really want to know, give me your best shot. Okay then, here we go. Why am I missing? <laughs> this was a real fight. I just crushed your throat. How did you do that? There's more to mastery than offense. Evasion without getting hit is an art in itself. My sensei used to call this move the Shadow Step. Shadow Step? So, how about it, son? Wanna learn it? Yes, please teach me. First off, show me that their basic Hazuki style stance. Alright. Hmm, that ain't too bad. Now come and do what I do. We'll see a step forward. Pull your arms in a slide real quick. Once you slide up behind, cut a blow to the neck like so. Now, start from your basic stance. Move your weight forward one step only. Something like that. As you step forward, get ready to dodge and throw. Now, your turn. Yeah, so it's forward, dodge and throw at the same time. So, forward Y and B, or forward triangle and circle. Hmm, right nice. You're a quick study. Thank you very much. Got that touch you do. How about a bit more practice? Okay, sure, why not? Well, I'ma watch ya. Go on and show me. Alright. Hmm. That enough for you? Wanna keep going? No, I think I'm all right. Thank you for the instruction. Well, don't go forgetting to practice every day. Perhaps we'll meet again. Please wait. How do you know about the Hazuki style? The Hazuki name's known amongst martial artists. The style of Iwao Hazuki is revered by many, including me. Quite popular in spite of being so young he was. My father? If you knew that move, why not use it that day? No sense in fighting. Sometimes uh, a clean getaway is also victory. <laughs> Ever need practice in the day, try warehouse number four. Sometimes I'll be there myself. Be sure and practice daily.
right, the shadow step. And yeah, you'll only get that event if, um, you know, you helped him out with the bikers. Anyway, we're done down here for the day. It's time to head home. Alright, so that's going to do it for this part here, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.